Welcome back to our Maple webinar series uh, in preparation for the Maple Basic Training Day. In this uh, mini video, we will be looking at how the Maple device is set up. So here you can see a list of everything that will be included uh, in your Maple uh, bundle. Uh, so you have number one, which is the Maple handheld device. Number two, the docking station, which will provide the Wi-Fi for the Maple device and also will charge it up. The uh, wire that will take your information from the probe to the handheld device. Number four is the charging uh, plug and wire, which will go to the number two, the docking station. Then you have number five, which is the wire that goes from the reference electrode on the bony part of the patient into the number one handheld device. Number six is a lanyard for using the Maple device in upright positions and when moving. Number seven is um, the, I guess, the functional training rings. Uh, number eight, I'm not sure what that is, um, but maybe Novacare or Pioneer um, will let us know when you come for the training day. Number nine is the uh, probes. Now they are bought in packs and packs of five um, through Pioneer in the UK, um, through Novacare elsewhere. And they are single patient use and also uh, they can be used vaginally and then rectally, but once used rectally, they cannot be moved back to vaginal use. Uh, number 10 is the electrodes for the reference point. Um, now these will be uh, consumables. They'll be purchased separately um, for each patient. Number 11 is the conductive gel. Uh, you can use Sigma or Spectra uh, gel as long as it is highly conductive and water-based. Number 12 are the sleeves for infection control and number 13 is the iPad, uh, which is provided as part of your package with Maple. So here you can see uh, these things uh, in picture format. Uh, you'll be seeing them on the day anyway. There, the top picture there, you can see the training rings. Um, so there you can see the Signa gel and the sleeves as well. There is a blue gel, which uh, in my practice I prefer. That is the Spectra gel, uh, which I think is available on the Pioneer website. So this is a video on how to uh, clean and take off the sleeve uh, after using the probe. With this video, we show you how to use the maple cable sleeve. Please connect the probe to the cable. The probe and cable should be cleaned with 70% alcohol first. Put the probe on the cable into the sleeve downwards. Make sure that the probe goes into the direction of the opening. Push the probe through the sleeve opening. Make sure that the cable sleeve is nicely covered and that it's not covering probe electrodes. Now the probe and cable are ready for use. After treatment, you take off the sleeve inside out. Throw away cable sleeve and follow normal cleaning procedure. So there we have it, how to use the sleeve. Uh, we'll be going through the cable uh, cleaning procedure uh, in the training day when you come in and you'll, you'll be practicing that each one of you to make sure you're happy uh, with what you're doing. So here we have probe positioning. Um, so the wire that attaches to the probe you can see has a 90 degree position. And that's very useful because the wire should always point forwards on the patient. So here we have vaginal insertion and rectal insertion um, with the wire pointing towards the front of the patient, the anterior part of the patient, the, the pubic bone. Um, and that is the same positioning whether the patient is lying, sitting, standing or moving. And it's really important to get that positioning correct because it will directly relate 
to the positioning for the grid. So you need to have it positioned correctly with the wire facing forwards so that you know that what you're seeing on the grid uh, are the muscles that you think uh, are giving you that feedback. Here we have the different positions, so you can use the maple in various positions. Uh, I do find that reclined sitting is better than upright sitting in terms of making sure the probe doesn't sit too deeply, um, but you can use uh, like a, a valley of cushions uh, so that the probe is elevated slightly or the, the patient is elevated from the seat slightly. The lanyard is very useful for more upright positions. So on your maple day, uh, you will receive information on what's included in your maple package. So the team from Pioneer Medical Europe uh, will talk to you about this and you can ask them questions on the day, either over the lunch break um, or afterwards by email or by phone. So that's the end of uh, this mini video on how the maple is set up. Um, now we are going to move on to the next webinar, which is about the electrical stimulation functions within the Maple device.